Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn about thread mate. Okay, so a question is why I am making this. Uh, the reason is that there are plenty of tutorials on YouTube but most of them are not explaining correctly or the animation of doing you know thread mate is quite wrong. So that is the reason I am making it. So I am making everything from scratch so that you can learn. Okay, so click on insert components, click on new part, select the front plane. Press Ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view. First thing that I am going to create is the net. Now, a question is what should be the diameter uh, because we are going to use it. So, currently, I am giving the whatever the value I am giving, it is basically called radius because. I am going to use devolve command. So let's say it is 5 and this is uh, 7 and this length is let's say 60. Make it 3 mm long. Now go to the features, click on revolve post space, select this line and click OK. So this is basically one thing. Now I have to create a thread. Now this is a very important part. Make sure that you watch thoroughly here because if you, you will face problem later onwards if you don't. So I will go here and click on thread. Now first thing it is asking where is the starting location? Okay. Please don't skip this from here onwards. You will regret it. So a question is what is the type of thread? Metric type or what? So in my case I am choosing metric. Okay, but if you are from America or England, uh, you might prefer inch diet tape. Okay, so choose as per your requirement. Now, here it is asking for the size. Remember that my bolt has a radius of 5 mm, so its diameter is 10 mm. So I will go here and I will go for 10. Now, watch carefully what I am saying. Here, I am 10, 1.5. Here, 1.5 is the pitch. Okay. I am going to use pitch letter onwards. So 1.5 mm is the pitch. So what basically it means that when my uh, bolt is rotated 360 degree, it will move forward or backward 1.5 mm. This is what it means. And you need to make sure that remember that. Click OK. OK. Now, here you see from up to where we want to move. OK. So let's say blind and enter the value up to which you want to move let's say 30 okay up to 30 uh, before I click on ok move downward and make sure to check whether your thread is right handed or left handed for example if my thread here is right hand thread then I need to make a hole but in that case I have to create a left hand thread okay so make sure that you remember this point this is a common beginner mistakes that most people do. So make sure that you don't do this mistake. Click OK. So this is my thread. One thing I need to do is here a little bit chamfer. So go here, select the front pane, click on sketch. So what I'm going to do is simply I'm going to create a little you know cone shape or cut it. It no need to be accurate. So don't worry about it. But again, if you have a habit to make, you can make it. So it is X2 turns revolve cut. Click OK. So we got this. Now exit this mode. Now what we are going to do is first click on rebuild. Now click on here, click on new part and select the right plane. Okay. Press Ctrl plus 8. Now before I move further, right click on it and click on hide component. So I don't want to see this component plus if you are watching this component it will uh, go into unwanted burden on your PC. So I recommend just hide them. Okay. So let's create the uh, basically nut or bolt whatever you shape you want. So let's say it is. Uh, Let's create the bolt. Forget about this one. So go here, draw the shape. 
so before I do more forward select this make it horizontal let's say it is 20 mm and I will create a hole of diameter remember the word it is diameter not radius so it is 10 mm click ok go to the extrude and extrude as per your requirement 10 mm is fine now I need to create threads here so how can I create it so go to the whole wizard thread select the location click on up to selection select this face move downward make sure that your size is m10 1.5 because when i will do the animation i will show you if this is not correct it will not work okay because of this correct value it will work one more thing that you do is make sure it is left left hand thread okay now if i try to click ok it is showing me hey i can't cut the thread but i can extrude it so click on extrude thread click ok so this is how to apply uh this one looks quite you know unwanted thing so let's remove this so go to the right plane click on sketch before i do anything let's go to this view and let's create some shapes sorry for the unwanted noise if you are hearing anything Uh, it's not due to be dimensionally accurate, it is just you know a reference purposes. So you can make as per your requirement. Uh, let's see. Let's mirror this entity. Click OK. Go to the features, revolve cut. Select this line and click OK. So it looks now fine. Okay. Now, what we have to do is as this is a component mode, right click on it and click on. Uh, show com sorry cancel it right click on it and click on show components so this is how to apply this okay and i need to make sure that uh, this one is uh, right handed thread so this one need to be left handed thread so just to make sure that i have made it left hand thread else i will face issues during animation or motion analysis if i go downwards it is left handed thread okay click okay Add as it is now. How can I do the animation? Uh, so, what I want to do is I want to rotate this vault. So, to rotate it, I want one part to be fixed, another part to be moved. So, I'm going to fix this part. So, to fix this part, click on here, uh, click on view temporary axis, go to the mates, select this, and just follow the steps. So, plane, so it will not move up and down select this uh, select the front plane so it will not move in this z direction and one more select this face and select the right plane okay after that just to make sure that it is even not rotate as you can see it is rotating so to even stop the rotation what you can do is right click on it and click on fix so it is not 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 even going to rotate it okay now go to the mates select this and this axis click ok now move it forward click on here and click ok as you can see my threads are not correctly matching so what i want to do is uh, make sure that you select this bolt from here as you can see this pop-ups so move this selected and you will see it's uh, match correctly yep it's now match correctly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the mate so go to the mate mechanical 
and I will select this view made. Now, if you remember correctly, when I made this thread, I said it is 10 and into 1.5. Remember? So I'm going to use it. So click on distance. So it is going to be 1.5 mm. So it's basically saying that hey, if my ball travel 1.5 mm direction in x axis, it will rotate 360 degree. Okay, this is what it means. Now I need to select faces. So let's start selecting faces. Select this face. Select this face. I have two faces selected. Click OK. So if I try to move it, how can I show you that it is working fine? Notice here it is in interfering, so it is not funny. Uh, okay, so what you need to do is like this uh, mates, right click, features, and uncheck the reverse. Oh, sorry, and not uncheck the reverse, basically, put 1.5 and make sure reverse is on. Click OK. Now, let's try to see it's, it, if it is interfering or not. It is still interfering. So what we can do? Right click, show, and check the reverse. Click OK. Like this. Like this question focus eight. Uh, select this component. Okay, my chairs are not correctly meshed, so I will suppress this feature like this it is a good thing that you are seeing my mistakes remember i always recommend that you you know see my mistakes because it helps you so right click click on unsuppress so if i select this uh, from here you can see it is meshing now correctly sometimes you know there there might be sometimes software soft issue so if you can see properly, it is correctly meshing, uh, no, no interference here. So if I go forward and zoom in, you can see it's meshing correctly right now. So the last time the issue was there, that I didn't you know, align correctly, that is the issue. Now if I zoom in, you can see it is not interfering and this is basically what I want. So now let's try to do the animation thing. So how can I do the animation? First, it's like this and hide. And let's move backward. Go to the motion study. Click on here. So what kind of motor you want to choose? It's up to you. So I want to select the linear motor. Select this face. Click on here. So to make it reverse direction. So what is the uh, distance travel? So click on here and select the distance. So it is not a quite a long thread. So let's make it 20 mm. Or let's say, uh, let's say I want to just revolve 4 rounds. So for four rounds, 6 mm is fine. So 0 to 5 seconds, click OK. And click on calculate. Click on pause. Uh, make sure that you add cushion 0, click on here and increase the FPS to 30 for better, you know, animation purposes and click on calculate again. Now you can see a smooth animation.
just in case if you want to learn about how to do animation and motion analysis there is a free uh, there is some courses link in description and if you are completely beginner and want to learn about solveworks there is a course free course okay it's link in description and if you want to learn cat here this is also a free course so what are you guys waiting for and if you learn anything from this video uh, please make sure that you like subscribe and share as it motivates me to create more and better content for this channel okay so i hope you love this video for any kind of awesome guys feel free to ask thanks for watching and have a great day namaste